So it's been a couple of weeks since the digital version of the Dragon Ball Super Card game Fusion World has been out. I've put many of hours already into the game. I think it's time to talk about the downsides of this game. Obviously, some of the best things that coming out of a digital version is the fact that you can play online with anybody in the world and have a great time with other like-minded people. But it's without its drawbacks, and these are the things that I would personally would like to change. So let's jump into it. So we're on the client right here, and the first point I want to make, the, none of them are in order or anything like that, is the ranking system. As you can see from above me, I am at guard rank, not a flex. I put many hours into it. I really wish they changed it to like, if you played Valorant, CS, maybe some other ranked games, they should have done placement matches, and then whatever you did in your results in your placement matches, you were put into whatever ranking you deserve, whether silver, platinum, diamond, whatever. Um, but in this game, the ranking system is you start from bronze one and you climb all the way up, which is a very big nuisance because it took me, what, 150 odd wins in order to finally get to the rank match. With each game being like, roughly 20 odd minutes, it takes you hours to get from bronze one to master hopefully when the season resets we don't go all the way back down that's the only thing it because if we do i need that change asap but i would have liked some placement matches it would have been way better and we didn't, wouldn't have to have grinded all so much uh another thing about the ranking system is the fact that they discarded the fact that you can't do challenges would have made the grind so much more easier to risk it in order to get more points than uh usual but then also risk more points. They did that in the beta, which was a great idea. At some point, they should at some point in a high rank, they should have just done that. I think the theory is they're gonna wait until like near the end of the season in order to implement that for a catch-up. But they should have just added it. It really makes no difference because a new player starting like two months later than everybody else is not going to get up to the point of God top 10 or something like that. So yeah, they should they should have implemented that a little bit earlier. Uh, another thing about ranking is the fact that you can verse anybody, anybody. And I get it, kind of. It's it's both like a good thing and a bad thing. Obviously, you can verse these bronze like I did right here. That has one victory, 10% victory rate, and beat them easy and climb the ranks easily. But at the same time, it doesn't really feel like god rank is worth anything other than just an um, abundance of time put into the game this will be a topic like later on down this video but obviously you can spend a lot of money and get like a good deck based off that and you could like verse a free-to-play player really so i wish there was like i guess a similar ranking thing that's what rank is for right um versing similar players maybe they didn't determine maybe once they like figure out the player base like, I can probably get it if, like, there was, like, less than, like, 100 people online. I'm sure there's, like, thousands of people online per, like, at one sitting. We don't know the, I don't know the stats right now. But, um, yeah, they should have, they should do that. Uh, hopefully they do that for, like, the next season. Because it would feel more rewarding winning as well. And it will really determine your actual skill level. And the last thing I want to add to the ranking situation topic that we are on. Probably higher rewards uh 300 gems for footing but i put like 30 hours in order to get to god hell no hell no that's three backs that's three backs and i'm assuming you get this and then the god ranking reward hell no this 600 gems ain't nothing ain't nothing man give me more than that please please and that leads us to the next topic which is the gem situation how much free to play plays getting is definitely not sufficient enough you if you haven't played the game you get daily missions uh weekly missions achievements whatever that will get you free gems it's 10 a pack is 100 i think it should be a little bit more especially the weeklies the weeklies well gets you 10 20 30 40 60 gems a week which is not even a pack it should have been at least one it should be at least one pack 100 or maybe do this and then a free pack for that specific new release or something like that you know why are we not getting free tickets or something like that uh then you have the dailies which is what 20 gems in all total and then you have like the achievements which is an infinite amount of rewards depending on how much time you put in which really doesn't 
matter too much. Just like 10 extra gems, whatever. Uh, I think they should increase it. Right now, I don't mind it because there's only one like booster set right now. But when we start developing into this game, and it's going to be like a bunch of packs, the newer players that are free to play, it, they ain't going to get the decks they want, man, for a long time. Luckily for now, there's one set. You can just hard focus on the set with whatever gems you got and pray that you got it. And hopefully you're lucky and you pull what you need. But when it comes to future sets and there's like seven to pick from and you're getting what, a pack a day, it's over. It is over. So I hope they do increase the rewards, give us free tickets. In the missions, there is the event page, which gives me some hope, some, some hope that maybe we might get some cool celebration pieces. Uh, for example, I play Dokkan Battle, which is a gacha game. There's like a download celebration where you hit a million downloads. We get rewards or like a specific theme and we get some cool stuff. You know what I mean? I hope this happens. And I hope it's sufficient enough as well. Because that's really the issue with the, the free gems. It's just that it will become a nuisance when there's more sets that come out. I think the pricing of gems is completely fine. A dollar a pack. That's fine. That's fine. You get, you buy the physical, you get the code, and it's a free pack. That is completely fine. Elliot, I was expecting even worse than that when, uh, before the game came out, the codes would get you like material or something, which would you need like multiple to get one specific pack or one card that you need. A quick tip in order to get as many gems as possible throughout the future of your lifespan of this game, get every single deck. There are missions where you have to use a yellow deck, a red deck, a green deck, a blue deck. And so that will accumulate as time goes on. You might have to spend, you know, thousands of gems maybe in order to buy these decks. But in the long run, if you just keep doing the dailies and the weeklies, which requires you to use certain colors, then you will eventually get your gems back, essentially. All right. So that was the gem situation. And the last thing I want to talk about is the collection, the card situation. I think it's a nuisance. Uh, look... I've spent maybe $400 in this game and I'm still missing cards, which shouldn't be like 400 gems in the game. You know, not like $400 of packs and then those packs with the codes in it. And then, you know, that's actually less. You get less value like that. Um, and I'm still missing things. Like this is, what is this, right? We have the alt art and then the alt art with the, the effect. Why do we have this? Why do, why are we having four copies of the same card when you can only use four copies in a deck? You know what I mean? Like this, they should have just discarded the original and then just kept the holo and then just kept the holo here. Why, why we need the basic version? You know, I get it. It's like cool and all, but it is super unnecessary, man. Keep it to like what it was in like actual booster box. Like why do we have four copies of the super saiyan blue goku which only has like an extra bit of effect it's so stupid and then imagine the situation here where there's one two three four five six different copies of the exact same card man of the exact same card why do we why are we doing this this is like slightly um, have effects that like gold is like shining and then this is, has like the aura like even more shiny like why what's the point ditch this one give me, have this one solo ditch this one have this one solo it's literally there's no point there's no point it is making the experience worse because if you get four of the same card it becomes wild cards which is a good system by the way you get a certain amount of the same cards that you can't use anymore and then and eventually you accumulate this bar and you'll get a wild card which allows you to purchase any leader card any common any uncommon rare super rare secret and it, it's not you can't purchase like the alt arts which is fine like the main point is to play with the cards and use them so that's what i think so buying the basic version is fine and then you get rewarded i guess somewhat you get compensated for pulling too many of the same cards because your luck was just that weird um and i like that i like that because you can use that for the next set you know you spend a lot of money now and then later on it costs less and less and less money to fulfill your playing needs 
for the next set and the next set onwards because you have because you have the wild cards which is cool like that is i think great system it's just that now with oh, like six different versions of the cards you won't get the wild card until you complete four of the 0.002 percent of the the unit <laughs> so what you want me to pull four of these cards to start getting a wild card like what what's the odds of that it's crazy it's crazy so yeah that is um that is really what i, I wish it's not gonna be fixed obviously now it's not gonna be fixed i wish they didn't do this because it was irrelevant <laughs> it is really irrelevant other than like a massive flex but even just keeping the rates the same it's still a max massive flex anyway just to get this version on its own or even this version on its own is a massive flex so this was just unnecessary flex so that's the three major topics that i think should have been changed in dragon fusion world there's only some of them that can be changed now because they've gone too far with the game to the point where they would have to start refunding if they change it up like the copies of the card which obviously they don't want so we're gonna see this more and more in the future one thing i do hope which would be very cool is like weekly tournaments if you play fortnite they have like the um tournaments and you play the tournaments to get certain rewards that would be really cool i do hope that and creator codes <laughs> use creator code jfanner but that's a topic for another day Hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on. I'll see you guys in the next one. Check out my Twitch and Discord link in the description. See you in the next video.